Man, it's such a shame that parents in anime are always just so... dead. Especially if they are parents as cool as these ones in our list today. <laughs> Who needs birthday gifts when your parents gives you your very own harem? <laughs> am I right or am I right? That is why for today we will be talking about the top 10 anime where the main character was gifted a harem by his very own parents. So, before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press on that bell icon and set us all to be notified about all our latest new videos. And of course, don't forget to like the video. And it comes without saying, beware of the following spoilers. Coming in at number 10 is Do You Love Your Mom and Her Two Hit Multi Target Attacks? Or for short, Okasan Online. This anime was the most controversial anime in the year of 2019 when it came out, and no one was watching this video, and no one watching this video can even feign ignorance and act like he has no idea why that is. Even if you live under a rock, you would still know about the slimy mother-son aura scene. Ugh. However, we aren't here for that specifically today. We are here to talk about the harem this mother practically built up for her only son after falling into the game world and somehow her hogging all the good classes, skills, and stats from her son. With him becoming an NPC fodder, the least she could do for him was bring him some hot chicks to join his party and raise his morale a bit. That's one hell of a W from your mom, if you ask me. Too bad the enemy was absolute garbage, though. Such a shame. Anyways, coming in at number 9 is Val Love. Who doesn't love their yearly dose of pure fan service? There is always this one anime in each season where it is pure fan service and etchy all the way. This anime in specific is the designated fan service seasonal, so of course, it flopped because it practically has zero story to it at all. Other than the fact that these nine hotties are Valkyries sent by the Allfather. The story is just there as a way to justify the fan service scene since the only way to power up the girls, per se, is to press their, um, buttons, if you know what I mean. The main character is so generic and bland, they have to give him a scar on his face to look even remotely cool. However, the girls in this anime and the fan service is just top notch and deserves all the praise. If you are just too damn tired of complicated plots and annoying stories, this anime is exactly what you are looking for. It's just half naked girls fighting big monsters, so just sit back, turn off your brains, relax, and enjoy the show. Coming in at number 8 is Ah My Buddha. This anime is what I would recommend if you want a fun, laid back harem anime with some nudity and a lot of suggestive and edgy scenes. I mean, the whole plot is about the main character and his secret ability to exercise any demon he faces. There's just one eensy weensy teeny tiny little catch though. In order to awaken this immense, uncontrollable power, he needs to <laughs> see the goods the girls living with him in the temple have to show him their wares and get him uh, as horny as they could. Only for him to blast through, go ultra instinct mode, and exercise the demon. That's practically the whole show. It's straightforward with a cute and sexy female cast, great personalities, and archetypes. As well as an enjoyable show with some nudity, so <laughs> be careful where and when you watch this show. Coming in at number 7 is You Know, a girl who chants love at the bound of this world. You Know is one of those anime that revolutionized anime as a whole and was the reason behind creating masterpieces like the Fate series and Steins Gate. Sadly though, this anime was 20 years too late to make an impact. Back in the day when this visual novel came out, it practically was equivalent to the French Renaissance. It created opportunities for many other novels to exist and gave many prominent creators the inspiration they needed to start their own novels. This anime has a lot of girls in it and sadly the anime was too damn short to flesh them out as characters and what we got in the end, well, was nothing but tiny romance arcs for each girl that wasn't satisfying in the slightest. Coming in at number 6 is Samurai Harem. Just when you think the age of the samurai is over, you get to meet this guy. Yoichi Karasuma lived his whole life in the mountains training with his father until the age of 17. After learning and mastering all that his father can offer him, he is sent off to a dojo in the city to resume his studies. However, Yoichi is unfamiliar with the concept of modern life and doesn't know how to interact with others, which puts him in an awkward situation, especially when it comes to interacting with the girls with him in the dojo. 
The plot thickens with addition of the sisters to the equation. And somehow Yoichi is so gullible about life, he doesn't even know what it feels like to grab some delicious plump opai and to hold the girl's bosom in his hands. Well, he is gonna get a lot of both over the entirety of the series, with each episode an awkward situation he is dropped into. The poor guy is gonna get his ass handed to him more times than he can count. Coming in number five is The Testament of Sister New Devil. This is definitely not a series to watch or talk about in public, but we need views. So what the hell? Let's have our fingers crossed that no one we actually know is watching this right now. <laughs> Hi, Mom. This anime is similar in its story to a very unique ecchi that didn't get to be on this list. This guy is from the Heroes Clan, and the two girls left in his care by his father, whom he was led to presume are his sisters, were actually demonic royalty. He now needs to protect them from the dangers looming around in hopes to kill the heir to the demon throne while having some fun. Echi laid back time with the girls swarming around him. I mean, <laughs> who can blame him really? They are smoking hot and sexy as hell. Just a reminder though, this anime is what they call softcore hentai, so be careful who you talk about it to, let alone watch it in front of. You have been warned. Coming in at number four is Love Flops. Some of you might come to the conclusion that this anime is just some other run off the mill, annoying, etchy harem when examining this show's trailer and reading some of the reviews about it. Many viewers were turned off by the aimless plot of the show and it just concentrating on the sexy five girls that want to marry the main character. That is why most of them dropped the show in the first half without reaching the second half of the series and being hit with that mind bending and earth shattering plot twist. This anime honestly deserves a much higher rating simply for the appreciation of the stunt they committed and how perfectly it was executed. Mwah. This show is best of both worlds, the sexy harem and a plot thicker than a Snickers and thicker than Bai Mongfa's ass. Coming in at number three is Miss Caretaker of Sunohara So. This anime is what you can call as a Shota Onesan trope. Basically, it's the young kid in love with the mature busty lady kind of anime. And this show did a great job fleshing out those characteristics with Aki being a young boy that is mistaken all the time as being a girl due to his feminine looks and stature. The owner of the residence Aki and the three other girls or so are living in. So you can just imagine how hectic and messed up things can get with all these girls and this young boy in the middle of it all. This anime though, it has a lot of edgy scenes. It didn't go as far with its lewdness as some of the other titles in this list. However, even then it was such a great show to sit back, relax, and watch. And to that, the fact that it is a slice of life episodic style of anime, and you got the best guilty pleasure anime you can ask for. Coming in number two is A Couple of Cuckoos. I am sorry guys, this anime fits the description of the list, so it just had to be there. With that said, however, I will say one thing and listen to me well, because I won't be saying it again. Do not watch this dumpster fire shit show. <sighs> Damn, getting this off my chest, it, it really makes me feel sort of better. Ah, oh, fuck, no it doesn't. This show is so unsatisfying. Well, whatever, I'm ranting anyway, so let's get into why this anime is so bad. The plot itself is filled with tons of plot holes and makes no sense if you think about it for a minute. The whole premise of mixed in birth and almost 18 years after the parents notice seems, uh, very alien. Well, as for the characters, well, <laughs> they have no character to them. The main character is supposed to be a studious kind of guy that gets high scores at school, yet for some reason, he is a complete dumbass when it comes to literally anything else. In other words, he's just your average, frustrating, dense main character. And as for the female cast, they have literally nothing, nothing to offer and are insufferable. But hey, well, this time you should care. Well, mm-mm-mm, this time you should care. And sadly, not even these girls or their big badonka donkers can salvage the situation. Because honestly, it's kind of frustrating. Just not as frustrating as uh, the show that shall not be named, AKA Rent a Girlfriend. Ugh. But anyways, number one goes to Hayate, the combat butler. Okay, so this main character is so unlucky that Black Cat's run at his sight. The poor lad was not only sold to the Yakuza to pay off his parents' crippling debt of 150 million yen, 
Buddy also becomes a butler, working for a rich, spoiled brat so full of herself, she thinks that he confessed his love for her. Unfortunately for Hayate Ayasaki, the chain of misfortune events in his life was just getting warmed up and getting started. Whether it was his daily butler duties or dealing with the many misfortunes that encounter him, Hayate is way out of his league and he has to keep up with a lot of stuff going on in his life in this comedy series. Compared to other series on this list, the show is colossal, with 52 episodes to its name, so it better be worth it if you guys are going to commit to watching it, right? Well, the good news is, as a story, it is quite a fun slice of life rom-com kind of show in series, and it will have you on your back sometimes. However, when it comes to the etchy, harem-y stuff, I got some bad news for you guys. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The harem here is huge, and the etchy scenes are practically in every single episode. There is a lot of content to go through in this series, and a lot of stories and arcs to be told. So let's take a seat, sit back, and let's just enjoy the etchy fest together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it for you. I would appreciate it if you guys would smash that like button, subscribe, comment, and press the bell icon to keep yourself notified of all our latest new videos and upcoming projects. And if you have any cool ideas for our upcoming videos, don't be shy. Share them with us in the comments down below. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.